Hello Minecraft gamers, my name is Apkai and welcome back to more Minecraft. Before we get this video started, I want to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone who celebrates it. It is a fantastic tradition in my opinion, and I want to go ahead and say I am thankful for each and every one of you guys who watches my videos and help me get this far in my YouTube journey. Thank you all so, so, so much. I feel like I, I thank you guys a lot, but I don't think I ever fully express just the extent of my thanks. And maybe one day I'll be able to do that, but I don't know. For now, I'm stuck just floundering around telling you guys how much I appreciate you, because it is an immense number. Anyway, um, what we did in the last video was we raided that ocean temple. And in today's video, we're actually going to be going back to that ocean temple and collecting the rest of the loot. Uh, if you remember, there was that sponge room, and I decided that the easiest way to mine those sponges would be to use the ones we got from the Elder Guardians. Why do you have a potato? Regis, are you a potato boy now? I guess you are. Good, they're still on their leads. Sometimes they break off their leads, and it's it's very upsetting when I just come over and I see the llamas are off like off their leads. I'm like, oh, come on. What? Okay, really, you're gonna spawn directly in front of me when I have a sword and I can just do that and it's game over. Gosh, some people they just don't know that I don't want to buy their overpriced items. Anyway, so we're gonna go back to the same ocean temple. Hello, other kitty cat. I think we're going to be... Yeah, we, we should we should be able to get stuff done in a quick enough manner. If we have some extra time, we'll go ahead and show off what I've been doing with the nether. Because I am still working on the wither skeleton farm. I actually have one skull already. Uh, to take the topic away from my... Oh, turtles! Hold on. Um, turtles. That is so cool. Okay, there are turtles here. So that means we can, um... We can get the scoots and make the turtle helmets. I don't... The texture's kind of misaligned. Do you guys see that? When I put the sh the saddle on, you can still see the background image. That's strange. Is that supposed to happen? No, it's supposed to cover. Okay, anyway, I'm getting distracted. This ice here um, brings up a topic. I saw Frozen 2 today, uh, the date of recording, and it was it was a it was a, it was, a, it was a movie. You know, I I think it was kind of predictable, but that's some really good songs in it. So I've got um, one of them stuck in my head. It's called uh, Lost in the Woods, if anyone has seen the movie. That's like the best song off the off the whole experience. It's kind of a predictable movie, but it, it was fun when I when I watched it. So, you know, if you get the opportunity, you might want to check that out. It's not, not a bad film by any means. Do I need to grab Underwater Breathing? Maybe. I'll grab it just in case. I should be okay with the sponges. Uh, so basically what we need to do is go into the temple and then use the sponges to lap up the water that is in the trophy room and then we should be alright so let's head there right now if I remember correctly we have an entrance in the side yep and then I think the treasure room is directly above it to be honest underwater I mean uh, not underwater sight night vision that's what that's called night vision might have been a cool addition to grab as well but it's okay we should be fine boom oh I need night vision okay um yeah, I 100% need night vision. 100%. Okay, let me let me let me let me go grab night vision. I guess that's that's something important, isn't it? The last night vision potion will now be consumed. I'm looking at this uh this pirate ship here, and I think I might come back and uh, rebuild this at some point because it's pretty complete. So if I could just put on like sails and patch some of the holes in the sides, it might be a pretty cool build. Just be able to have. And we can turn this to like a port town if we wanted to. Oh yeah, there's also that other ocean temple. I think I pointed that out in the last video, but I'm not 100% positive. If I didn't, I mean it's there. So if we ever need more sponges, we can totally go there and grab them. In the meantime though, I'm just going to be grabbing these sponges because we just grab all these wet ones. We can dry them out and we'll be set. I believe there's only one sponge room per area. So that's... It's cool to be able to have, you know. Obviously, it'd be nice if we had more sponges, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be happy with what I've been given. There's a lot of sponges in here. I don't even think I'll ever need this many. But it's a block you can't get too much of. I remember back in a, uh, gosh, what year did they add the sponges? I remember they had the sponge block in the game before there was a purpose for it. Like it was just a, a weird looking block, and that was always fun to be able to go into creative mode with and grab because. They didn't, they kept that in the game for the longest time with no purpose. You know, nowadays if, if they're like, oh, we don't need something anymore, they would just take it out, you know, like just remove it from the source code. But now they're like, no, we're just going to keep it in. Or they, like before, not now. 
like the, uh, they used to have a thing called a horse saddle, which was different than a normal saddle, and you would craft the horse saddle. Uh, and when they decided they were just going to stick with normal saddles, they took it out, because that kind of makes sense. But if it were back then, they probably would have just left it in. So drowned, go away. I'm trying to mine blue blocks, because I think the blue blocks are nice. I like keeping the integrity of the temples intact for the most part, because this way allows me to harvest the blocks that look cool without damaging the outside, in case I want to turn this into a building project as well. So I'm just going to grab, like, I don't know, maybe a stack of these or something. Don't have a purpose for them at the moment, but I think they'd be nice to just have on hand, you know? In case I do find something that's like, ah, oh, that does, that wants to be blue. And I don't want to use, like, concrete or something, because it's got a very nice texture. It's good for flooring or, or, I guess, walls. I don't know, I've only used it for, like, tile floors, like in a bathroom or something. I don't know. I haven't paid too much attention to, uh... What's going on? Oh, is this the, the bottom right here? Oh, cool, this is double pane. Oh, never mind, never mind, cancel that last one. Hi, sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. I'll now be putting most of these blocks back. I thought it was double layered. That would have been awesome if it were. Because that would mean I could uh, get in here and actually mine. How am I leaving less... Okay, whatever. Oh, because they float at the bottom, that's why. Okay, boom. Okay, three of these should be fine. 42. All right, let's, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's head back now. That way I can show off what I've been doing with the nether a little bit. So basically, um, for those of you guys who don't know, haven't been staying up to date on the series, our next short-term goal is fighting the Wither. Uh, might need to grab some gear before that, so might have a couple episodes where we work on the, the Dunder Mifflin office. But otherwise, we're working on the... Uh, we're working on the Wither. We're fighting the Wither. That's, that's the goal. So in order to fight the Wither, we obviously need three Wither Skulls. I have one so far that I just got randomly. Uh, this sword that I'm using is just sharpness, it doesn't have like looting on it or anything, so having a, a better sword would be nice. Um, but for the meantime, what I've been doing, and I'll show this off in just a second, I have actually been torching off the nether, because I was watching a couple of YouTube videos um, from other creators, who have been talking about how they make their wither skeleton farms. It basically requires you to know the concepts of how wither spawning works, or skeleton spawning. Because you have to manipulate the, basically the, it's called the bounding box of the nether fortress. There's basically a giant box that goes all the way around the nether fortress. Every bit of the nether fortress is in that box. So you find a place that's jutting out over like lava that doesn't have any builds. And you just build out a platform there. And that'll cause all the monsters to spawn on top. And I've you've been doing something very similar to that. Um... Uh, in my nether, but I haven't been quite preparing as I should. I'll show this off in just a second. I just want to drop off these supplies first. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. This chest is messy. Alright, let's go ahead and show off what I've been up to because it's, um, I don't think it was that much. I kind of just did it off camera. I put on, like, some music or maybe a Twitch live stream and, uh, just kind of went to work a little bit. Obviously, it takes place in our nether, which is just through our nether portal. I've been thinking that I might switch to doing this on YouTube live streams. I do stream on Twitch every once in a while. Usually that's a uh, different game. Like I just finished a playthrough of Detroit Become Human. Something I wouldn't play on my channel, but I figured I did still want to play at some point. So I'm doing that on Twitch. I might keep YouTube stuff to YouTube though. Oh, please go away. Please go away. Hi. Goodbye. And there's a gas tier. Excellent. I would have wanted that. So you can see I started putting torches, because those torches actually disable some of the spawns. As you can see, there is not a single pigman, or blaze, or anything on here. They're all spawning on this mass here, which I get... Ghast! What? Oh my lord. So many ghasts, and so little energy for me to take them out. Oh! Alright, fair play, gas. Fair, fair play. And the fair... And the fair play for Cuba committee. That is something that uh, someone said that one time. Couldn't tell you who, though. I think it was the dude. Anyway, now I'm moving on. This is the only area that doesn't have any... Oh my lord, I was going to say ghasts, but still got ghasts. Come on, get out of here. Oh, return to center with a bow? Heck yeah. This is the only place that doesn't have torches. As you can see, it spawns. There's a wither skeleton right here. So why don't we go ahead and take him out and see what happens. Hey, come away from the edge. Come on. What? Oh, geez, I was going to say, what is your problem, dude? Come on, get out of here. Okay, see, we only got bones this time, but this is 
a place where I could technically start to farm. Um, the problem is, are there blazes down there? How are there blazes down there? Did I forget a place? Hmm, okay. Basically, what you're supposed to do is find a, a place that is parallel to a bridge. So, like, expanding out that way. That goes runs alongside there. Kind of. It's, it's kind of hard to explain because I don't fully grasp the concept myself. But that is what I've been up to as far as the nether goes. Now, the last thing I want to touch on in this video and get some progress on is actually doing a checkup on the farm slash Thunder Mifflin slash Villager Trading Center. Because that place will have the books that we need to get our set of armor and tools that we'll be using to fight the wither. And also farm the skulls, hopefully, if I can get looting. I believe I have a sword that's like almost done in my enchantment room chest. Or barrel, I think it's a barrel. So I do want to check that out because obviously I'm going to need that. Hopefully get some looting on it and be able to use something efficient for once. But otherwise, I think we should be just about set. Come on, get out of here. Go away. Alright, so we haven't done too much progress this episode, but we are we are getting a, a couple of things done. Just like logistic stuff. Doing a bunch of uh, progress checks and whatnot. Get out of here, gold husk. Get out of here, gold zombie. Oh, you're just actually a regular husk, never mind. You make me hungry, husk. Alright, I'll just keep switching my armor back and forth. It doesn't change the armor value. That's a little strange, isn't it? Hmm, okay. Oh, darkness has descended upon the land. Holy buckets. Okay. Right, so let's check the farm. Open up. Hello, villagers. How are we working? Let's actually let's check this first. Uh, so we got some beets and we got some sugar canes. Could use a faster sugar cane farm. Because I need to unlock the trades before I can actually start trading. 24 paper just to start unlocking the trade. How much can I just pay you? Oh no, that's kind of useless. I don't really want to buy Feather Falling 2. What about you? No, you have Depth You have depth Strider. Wait. Why do I keep you around? I, I don't know why I keep you around. Let's see, do you have better trades? No, oh no, he's a farmer. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> okay, slight problem. I, I did accidentally create a bunch of farmers. Um, because I didn't, I was trying to figure out how to get these people to be farmers, and I, I placed a lot, so. Anyone not a farmer yet? Oh, no, you're a librarian now. You can't be a librarian. Gosh darn it. Oh, well, you're an adult. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me delete this. Was that, was that someone, are you? You're still a farmer. You're still a farmer. Okay, let's do one more. Still farmers? Okay, good. And you? Still farmers? Okay. And and to take that away. And put it back. You're both farmers now? Oh gosh. I have definitely messed this up, haven't I? Okay. This somehow makes this guy a farmer. I, I honestly don't know. I can take this one away, I know that. Yep, and I can take this one away as well. Love it. Alright, so, and I'm gonna have to give that man no job. That's fine. I, I will come back down here and get that guy to be a farmer. Because if I can get him to be a farmer, we'll be more efficient. But we weren't expecting villagers to be done today, were we? Okay, break. And place. No. Okay, good. And you are trash. That's what you are. I'm sorry, your trades are trash. You you are a, probably a very decent villager being. All right, I'm gonna figure that guy out later. Let's uh, let's get this last dude down here to be farmer so we can get a third farmer, and then that will be that. I'll probably have to do some AFK grinding on these guys to get the emeralds we need to start getting the books, and then we should be starting to get set. Good. Is that three farmers now? Three farmers now. Okay, so hey, start farming then. What are y'all doing? Come on. There we go. Pick up the beets. And then this farm is really inefficient. Um, I might need to expand it. I don't know. I might expand that farm. Haven't decided what I'm going to be doing yet there. But good. Good to see our progress is rolling spicily. Alright, Minecraft gamers. I know this episode was kind of strange. We kind of did a bunch of progress checks. But it's important to make sure everything is still running smoothly after a little bit of time. 
we have sewn up a bunch of loose ends on the series and we are ready to move on to bigger and better things. The Wither Skeleton Farm, I don't know if that'll be something I'm doing on camera because that takes a lot of supplies. So I don't quite know what I'm actually going to be doing next. If you guys have any ideas of something to build or something to do, please let me know. I know I haven't fought like the Ender Dragon yet and stuff, but I plan to do Elder Guardians, Wither, Ender Dragon as far as boss fights go. So next step would be the Wither. Otherwise, if you guys have any like mini games or something you want me to build or anything, I don't know. I'm up for anything. Minecraft is, is a game of creation. So let's create. Or let's go on adventure. I don't care. Let's do something. Maybe we'll go on an adventure next episode. That sounds good. Yeah, so anyway, leave comments about what you guys want me to do on this world. I will see you guys here in the next video. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to tell a friend about the series. Once again, happy Thanksgiving to those of you guys who celebrated. I am very thankful for all of you watching the videos and subscribing to the channel, checking out the channel, all that stuff. I will see you guys here in the next video. But until then, take care.